Hello and welcome to the Switch Underground. My name is Danny. Recently I finished reading ugh, Dace's book, Shmup Ascension. A wonderful little, uh, I don't want to say how-to manual, but kind of a how-to manual that mostly addresses like the uh, mentality of shmups and how to uh, approach them and do better. Uh, one of the shmups that I picked up recently is actually called Earth Atlantis. And it's kind of a shmup but you get to run around the world and i haven't unlocked any ships yet only the nautilus so this game is pretty cool i really dig the art style of it and you basically run around the map and you hunt down bosses now i had played a little bit before captain received a distress call from the wheat sea they have lost all their hunters up oh, okay so you can move back and forth like this and flip your ship around and you're basically just gonna hold down the fire button. So you see our little uh, map in the top there. Uh, those little blinky things, I believe, are the bosses that we're hunting for. And there's little power-ups there. Now we're shooting two instead of one. Amazing, right? But um, Dace's book was enlightening. Oh, maybe I should pay attention to what I'm actually doing here. Now you do get power-ups so that you actually shoot behind you as well. So we're basically running around here until we can find the juice to get ourselves more powerful so that we can kill things in more than a thousand shots. But it's all very kind of like hand-drawn, kind of cool. Music is pretty peaceful. And now that we have the fourth power-up, we see that we're shooting out of our butt. And that's a little health thing. It vibrated my controller. But you basically glide around the world here in your little submarine. This one's the Nautilus. A big, nice throwback to 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Fun fact, when I was young, my parents got me all of these, like, kids' versions of all the classic novels. So, like, Journey to the Center of the Earth, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, Treasure Island, uh, Robinson Crusoe, Swiss Family Robinson... All that kind of stuff. So I actually read almost all of these stories by the time I was in like fourth grade. Big fan of all of them. And I always had a special place for 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. I can't really explain why. I think maybe I just kind of really loved Captain Nemo. Well, I want that power up. But uh, this game's pretty chill. Once we get down to a boss fight here, you'll see it's going to crank up a little bit. Uh, I was hoping we could find one of the, the special power-ups before we have to deal with a boss. It would make it a lot easier. They have bombs and missiles. But hey, we'll just keep doing this. No problem, dude. Give us all of those power-ups. Uh, this is an easy mode, which is, you know, part of, part of understanding a new shmup is uh trying to get through it and i really like that about dace's book he uh okay that's a bomb so these should shoot out like randomly okay yeah there they go the missile's way better because it like has a homing but um it's all about learning experiencing the game because if you try to, uh, and I'm going to borrow a little bit from Dace here. If you try to perfect everything on your first runs, you'll never get to see any of the other game. Because you might burn out before you actually do anything. You might have the perfect strategy for like that first world or that first level. But then you get to level 2 and it's like, oh crap, I don't know what I'm doing. I've never seen this before. And then you have to spend a ton more time trying to learn that one. When really you could have just gone through the whole thing on an easier difficulty or with a different ship and experienced all the game has to offer before you started to dial in the mastery. And this is true with almost anything in life. And I mean anything. Once upon a time I had a dream of being this famous writer. And uh, one of the biggest problems with writing is editing as you go instead of just getting your story out. So it's always important to just take them first steps, man. No matter how small, 
or minuscule or you know irrelevant they might seem all of it is adding to the experience and games especially and I think it goes double for shmups okay I think we're gonna actually hit a boss here anyway I really dig this game I wasn't sure it would have saved all my progress before, but I've actually hunted a few of these bosses already. I am a little sad that it didn't actually save my like power-ups or anything, but I guess it wouldn't. Why would it? But you know, pretty simple. Okay, I think there's gotta be a boss down here. What do we gotta go? Probably down and over. Yeah, we're coming up on it, dude. Here we go. Bosses in this game, very cool designs, all of them. And the premise here is we're basically hunting them down one at a time. We should come to a big old boss room. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's an octopus. Oh, and he sh Okay. So we're going to look at our environment. Every time something comes up through the ground, it's going to shoot a little tent tentacly boy. So what we're actually going to try to do is try to bait it out. See if we can actually get him to tentacle strike us on our own terms, dude. But that's kind of working, kind of not working. Oh, man, those missiles. Got to stay back a little bit. Oh, did we get him? We got him. Oh, we opened up something here. So that's health and what's H? Oh, H is the homing missile. That's what I want. I like the homing missile a lot more than the bombs. And the more like homing missiles that you get, the more you shoot out, and you can become an unstoppable machine, man. But uh, the health thing, I mean, we're playing on easy, so it's not like super difficult. But then we go hunt another boss. And there's like little, uh, little packages that we'll find with like power-ups in it, but you can see that homing missile doing some work, and I like that. Beautiful. Anyway, sorry for the lack of uh, videos on the channel lately. I mean, the simple fact is I've been addicted to Valheim, like, you know, every, most everyone else on the planet. Uh, we've taken down two bosses, and we're gearing up for the third one. We're probably ready to do it now, but my main quest has been to hunt down the merchant. In that game, Every world is procedurally generated, kind of like Minecraft, except it's there already. It's not like generating chunks as you go. Um, and somewhere in the world, a, a merchant spawns. and He sells you kind of like interesting things. He's the only like NPC in the game that's actually not trying to murder you. But he's really hard to find sometimes. And I have been on a quest for almost two weeks to try to find him. And I've been hunting for him about... I would say anywhere from an hour to two hours a day. And I have yet to find him, but I will. And when I do, I'm gonna buy some awesome stuff, like a fishing pole. Speaking of fishing poles, it reminds me, Animal Crossing just released a bunch of uh, Mario items, dude. Oh my God, and the coolest thing that they've introduced is warp pipes. So I have a warp pipe that you can take from like right when you land on my island to like a remote part so you don't have to run your distances anymore you can just warp and i think that is so cool animal crossing has seen a really lack of updates really i mean they got the bunny boy coming up but who likes them nobody i did all of the easter stuff last year and so i have an entire room in my house that is dedicated to easter which has shot up my housing score considerably but, I mean, it's kind of boring. I don't know if they'll introduce new stuff or not. We'll see. We shall see. Oh, this is tricky. Don't want to go up there. So we see on our map, we see more uh, little crossbones there. Or the crossed swords, I guess. That's the other boss location. It's too bad that it didn't do all the bosses again. Because there were some really cool ones. I mean, that octopus one was pretty cool too, but... There was this giant shark that chased you around and everything's like mechanical and steampunky. Wow, look at here, look at this, look at that whale. 
You guys see that whale in the background just chilling? How cool is that? And if you've been following me on Twitter, you know that one of my recent obsessions was the Atlier uh, Ariza series. They just came out with the second one. And I was trying to hunt down a copy of the first one. And I did find one, the NA version, but I had to pay a ridiculous amount of money for it. But I am happy to report that game is actually very fun. The story's cute and I love the characters. So I am very happy that I didn't you know, waste a bunch of money on something that I was never going to play. Oh, and if you see behind me on the shelf there, next to Laura and the Marios, for my birthday, my wife got me uh, some of the Mario Lego set, which is freaking sweet, the way that they've integrated that. Okay, this must be the boss. Oh, no, it's not. We got to go down. We'll find it, dude. Luckily, we have enough power-ups on our ship that we are just dominating right now. There's, like, no challenge here at all. Ooh, okay. Ooh this is a crate. Come on, give us a missile, not a bomb. If you grab the B, it'll switch you back to bomb. We don't want to do that. We want H's. H's for homing missile, dude. Oh, Colossus. Ooh. Oh, now it's getting spicy, dude. Look at this thing. Ooh, it's like Fight Crab on steroids. All right. Uh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Shmup tactics. Analyze the screen. This is one of those instances where you can focus on your ship a little bit, but we want to make micro movements. See if we can bait out the homing stuff to be in a place where we're not going to be. We are clearly failing at that as he's shooting these giant speedy potatoes. But I think we just developed our strat. Oh, he's dead already. Well, geez, I hope we got a good look at him. <laughs> he didn't last very long, did he? Uh. Whoa, now there's three bosses on the map. Now, I haven't forgot about Undermine. I have been poking at it. I'm on the third boss now. One thing that did kind of fall by the wayside that I just don't have a lot of time for is um, Rogue Heroes. Super cool game. Um, kind of like Undermine where you like, I made a video about it. You can go watch it if you like. But, uh, you know, get in a get in an RNG dungeon, unlock some currency. Ooh, wow, oh my god, a new set piece. Look at this. Atlantis. Oh god, I thought, I thought that was going to be a wall. So, I mean, I'm, I'm curious how this is all going to play out. So, am I just going to, like, be on this same map forever? Or are there actually going to be different things happening or different places that we go? This game was on sale for, like, dirt cheap when I bought it. I think it was, like, a dollar. Something, something ridiculous. And I was like, yeah, dude, I'll try that for a dollar. Can I squeeze by here? Yeah, dude, just... Just, just thread the needle. Anyway, Dace's book got me s Oh, death by firing squad. Zero of 120. Uh-oh, what does this mean? Do I have to kill a... I gotta kill a hundred of these dudes? Are you shitting me? Oh my god, this is... This is tough. I need that health. Okay, we need a strat. The strat is to not get shot. But there's a lot of these guys. Ooh, there's a power up down there too. Oh look, they're even little Nautilus shells. Oh my god. Ooh, there ain't a lot of spots to go, huh? It's so quick. Normally in a situation like this, what, it, what one might consider doing is um, staying in one place and making micro adjustments, but this is more of a delicate dance, isn't it? We've got missiles flying all over. We gotta bob and weave our way through, but we gotta kinda calculate what we're after too. And also pick up some power-ups along the way. Oh man, we're getting destroyed. See, how am I supposed to avoid that? I can't, I need that health though. No, no shot. Oh, I need that health too. Oh dude, there's nowhere to go. 
All right, I gotta find some bearings here. Let's go hang out by a wall. Oh man, how am I supposed to avoid that? Okay, going out of the middle here has been r r way risky. Probably not worth it. Oh, I need that health though. Okay, we're doing okay, we're doing okay. Everybody chill. Let's not panic. We can get through this. Another health would be nice, but this is why I really like the homing missiles. They're doing the Lord's work. And standing next to these walls is kind of working out for me right now. If I can stay away from their level, then we're a little more Gucci. But if they start shooting up at me like that, holy cow. Frame rates are also taking a little bit of a hit, but that's okay. We're Switch gamers, we know all about that, <laughs> don't we? Okay. Everybody be cool, one more. Man, that was pretty tough. I guess that was kind of a boss fight, huh? All right, let's go uh, see if we can go through our newly open, okay. Shark man, what are you after here? Oh, jeez. If I come up on another boss, I'm scared. I do hope that some of these guys will drop me some health. Yeah, I can't imagine doing that particular part not on easy right now. Which is why I'm glad that I chose it. Because I probably would have been dead. And I wouldn't be able to experience whatever other bosses are up here for me to find. Okay, I don't see any scores though, that's a little funky. Okay, it looks like to get into that one, we're gonna have to blow up something. Which means we gotta find this other boss, so... We're gonna try to head up. Can we do that? Not here. But that's okay. We gonna figure this out. So yeah, Rogue Company. I guess it gets a little weird because like I'll go like a few days without like making a video and then I just gotta fill in everybody on what I've been doing and what I've been up to. Uh, Joe actually sent me a Children of Morta for the PS4. I thought about streaming that. That might be pretty cool. But uh, we'll see. I'm still kind of a streaming pansy. Which is a bummer because I'm every time I've ever streamed I've always pretty much enjoyed it but there's just something about the hurdle of it being like nighttime and me being like super tired and my time slot sucking and you know, all the stuff I've said a thousand times no big deal so man how are we gonna get back over there I'm gonna have to backtrack a little bit I think the goal is to find one more boss and then we'll call it a day I just wanted to show off the game and see if I could apply any of the stuff I had learned in Dace's book to a real world example. I did pick up a rival Mega Gun though, and that is hard. Because it's it's more of a battle shmup where you are like supposed to be fighting other people at the same time. So it's kind of like, you know, the battle Tetris or wherever, where you, like, do something and it does something to the other dude's screen. Only this is a shmup instead. And man, it's difficult. And I haven't found any actual real people to play with yet. Whenever I queue for a match, it's like, well, I guess we'll just let you play against the computer, because no one's playing right now. Ooh, a box. An H? Yes. So that's going to give us a homing missile upgrade. Now we're shooting. Dose. Look at that, dude. We're ready for this boss when we find him. There's blood in the water, dude. We're ready. We're ready to chum it up. Get it? Chum? Because sharks? That's a... That's a Discovery Channel joke. Alright. Okay, so our health 
is we're full mast. We are engaged, ready to go. We've popped all of our Viagra, and now we are just waiting for the doorbell to ring. You know what I mean? And we gotta be close. The door is is ready. Oh, this is it. For sure. This better be it. We got our power-ups, dude. So many missiles popping off. Go down this way. Oh, that actually might be a boss right here. Right through this trident. Oh my god. Whoa, look at this thing. Oh, we're in some bullet hell now. Look at this. Slow. I'm not hurting this guy. What, do I gotta shoot him in the eyeballs? Maybe the top shelf first? So in the last fight, we had to like totally move around the screen all the time. This one, we're just gonna stay in one spot and calculate and migrate our position slowly, small, tiny increments shoot our missiles into his eyes of death. Ooh, but we gotta watch out for those. His big balls are gonna hit us in the face. And that is a no bueno. But, if we stay far enough away, he won't be able to give us the old Arabian sand goggles, you know what I mean? We'll be able to avoid it with ease. Again, I can't tell which part of them I'm supposed to be hitting right now. It seems to change. Okay, shoot your balls, buddy. Oh, my phone's ringing. It's the school district. Uh oh, there's a bus. Cool, man. Yeah, I mean, there's one more boss here, dude. Let's just go find it. Why not? What the heck is shooting all that stuff? Wow, the enemies are getting way harder. All right, let's see here. They don't make it easy. You gotta kind of backtrack and go find stuff to find the other bosses. But we're gonna head this direction. See if we can, man, look at all the missiles we've got. So good. You know, one shmup that I've always wanted to f actually finish a run on was Steradin. I have never f completed a Steradin run. Feels bad, man. Every time I get close, it just it takes so long to like get in that zone. And you gotta practice. And I just, I just get so distracted by other things. But, if you've never played Steradin Binary Stars, it is worth your time. There's not a shmupper alive that wouldn't agree with me. That and Dan Maku and Limited 3. Not just because it has Dan in the name, but because the soundtrack is awesome. It's accessible. And that is one game that I thought I would never be good at. And it turned out that all it took was a little practice. And I was able to actually complete the game. And I actually almost completed it on easy and medium. Oh, this, this has got to be the spot. Come on, man. Where are you? So what? We're going to have to go like all the way down and then back up again. Looks like it. Alright. So we're going to go this way. We're going to start making our way back up. Wait, is this an up? That's not an up. It's a little hard to tell sometimes what the pathing is here. Like, you think you're getting close to something, and then it's like, oh, never mind, there's a wall. It's like, well, crap. Alright, we gotta be close now. Unless this is where I've been already, and then in case that sucks. <laughs> okay. Looks like we're gonna need to go up and over. 
The little blinky dots on the screen, I think those are barrels to find, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go down this way. And then as soon as we can go down again, I think we're gonna flip around. Yep. Oh, geez, I didn't even see that one in there. Thanks, game. But this will probably give us access to that barrel. Or what was it? Oh, another missile? Or did we pick up bombs? Oh, yeah, these are the torpedoes, bro. Do we want torpedoes or homing missiles again? I think we're gonna stick with the homers, dude. I like them. Although we just gave away our power up. Dang it, they gotta fix that. Now we're launching some lame boys. All right, let's go. Rota- oh, whoa. Rotaton Alpha, okay. Should've grabbed the torpedoes, man. Do it. Do your worst. Okay, maybe not. Oh my god, that guy one-shot me. Game over. Do I want to continue? What does it mean if I do continue? Oh, how do I unlock a ship? I would totally like to unlock some of these. Look at... Oh, look at that, dude. The Musashi. The Aquanaut. I like the Aquanaut. Shoots everywhere. Oh, the Moby Dick. Need that. That one looks pretty awesome, too. I don't know how you unlock ships or anything, but let's see. Oh, they got best records? Is this me, or... Oh, no. Oh, okay. So, quest mode lets you go through all the different ones. Hunter mode probably does something else. I don't know. Anyway. If you've tried Earth Atlantis, and, um... You liked it or you hated it, let me know. I kind of enjoy it. It's kind of chill, actually. That was the first boss that ever, like, just straight up whooped my butt immediately. But that's good. Losing is important. It teaches you not just how to lose, but also what you need to do to win. So that you know exactly where you were, where you're going, and what to expect when you get there and it makes the victory that much sweeter and i think dace would agree with me there anyway man be good to each other i hope you guys are all doing awesome and i will see you guys in the next one